Hello friend, it's Mark out on the back 40. And in this episode, I'm taking the drill out for his very first run. We're gonna do a little calibration. I'm gonna put some seed in the ground. It's mid-March in Michigan, which is a little early, but it's unusually warm this season. Soil temperature's right, it's about 43 degrees over the last five day average. It's gonna keep going up. The seed I'm putting in needs 40 degrees, so let's go. So this is what I'm planting. It's from Green Cover Seed. And whoops, we gotta go over here. And it's their Cool Season Soil Builder blend. So uh, what Green Cover Seed, uh, how I found those guys was looking online for um, what are the right things to grow to build the soil. And so I've been studying what they have. I've been ordering seed from them for a couple of years now. And uh, I really like what they're doing. So go to greencoverseed.com, I think is what it's called. And then they have um, another thing called Seed Mix, I think. Seed Mixer or something like that. So click on that and you can do all kinds of custom stuff. It's really, really cool. And uh, what, what my strategy with food plots is now, and has been for a couple years, is in the spring, I plant to feed the soil not the animals, although the animals still eat all the stuff. But I'm focusing on feeding the soil. Then in the fall, now I'm gonna feed the animals. Now I can go ahead and plant all the brassicas and clovers and all that kind of stuff, which there's a lot of that in here too. But that's when I'm really focusing on the food that I'm gonna have for the fall to hunt over. But right now I'm feeding worms, I'm feeding microbes, I'm feeding um, mycorrhizal fungi. I'm feeding stuff in the soil that's going to build the soil so that the stuff I grow in the fall is going to grow even better. And over time and over time and over time, stop rototilling, no more of that. Just planting stuff in with this drill and keep growing and growing and growing the soil so I can grow better and better crops. Ultimately, what I want to end up being able to do is plant soybeans in here and have soybeans grow well. I've done them before, they grow okay. If it's dry, they don't grow very well at all because it's sand. So I'm trying to build this soil up. I'm giving myself about five years to build it up real good so I can grow soybeans really, really well. So right now, because of the size of the seed that this stuff is, I'm using the large seed box. So this is for, it's got bigger gears and this is the small, this is a small seed box. You can see uh, that's like switchgrass seed right there. So small stuff, clover, brassicas only, turnips only, only that stuff would go in here. But any kind of a mix with a bigger seed, I gotta put it in here. Even if it has brassica and clover in it, I still use the big seed box because, big seed box means like, the, not because it's physically bigger, but because it handles bigger seed. But you can see it's got uh, peas and sunflowers and rye and barley all in there. So that those seeds are too big to be handled well over in this side here. And then, so the drill, the drill itself kind of looks like this. I mean, these are the, the discs right here. And you can see I'm going about, what is that, inch? And it's around in here, so inch and a half, two inches deep. And it's got a little flapper on it right here that scrapes the mud off. Although in the sand, I really don't have much mud. But there's scrapers on both sides. If you got heavier clay or heavier soil like clay, it'll scrape that off. It's got it's got some travel on it to go up and down with the contour. Not as much as like a, a John Deere would have. But it still has enough so far because if you look at my plots, they're really flat. I mean, the the, the soil... The ground where I am is flat, 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 flat. And then this right here is the wheel that goes around and all that does, the only purpose of that that I can tell is to drive all the mechanism up inside the drill. And then behind here has got a, uh, this is under spring tension. And all it does is when you set it down, it pushes down the soil and kind of roughs the soil up and then a little, a little cultipacker uh, to push things down too. So. That's kind of how it works. I really like this shelf right here. I can jump up on that to dump the seed in here. Really convenient, really good for me. And uh, on the back here, I guess this is kind of how it hooks up. Typical category one hitch, I'm pretty sure. These little flappers here come in and out to, if you want to close, well, I can't see it now, but if you wanted to close these off, you just push that flapper in 
and uh, see-through seed cups. You know, they say sit in the tractor and watch these and make sure that stuff's going through there. Well, you, you can't see that from the tractor, right? I mean, if you're up there looking down, you can't see, you can't see because the angle plus this flapper is in the way, but I get it. I stop every once in a while and just take a, a look from down here to make sure that these aren't filling up, meaning the seeds got clogged in the tube. So that's kind of how it looks. I'm amazed at how accurate the calibration on this drill was. I uh, just got done doing all the math and figuring everything out, and that took me way too long. You'd think as an engineer I'd be able to figure that out faster, but it took me an hour to get the formula right over and over and over again. But I got it, I finally set it, and I did the, the testing, and this food plot is 0.8 acres. And the seed I'm putting in right here, the stuff from Green Cover Seed, this stuff's awesome. These guys are awesome too. I love these, what these guys are doing. Anyways, um, it needed 65 pounds per acre times 0.8 acres is like 52 pounds. So I dumped a 50 pound bag in here. And right when I got almost done, I mean, I had maybe three or four passes left, it was gone. So, I mean, the calibration, I don't know if it could be more accurate. So that is pretty cool. Um, with any kind of a seed drill, even the one that I borrowed from my buddies last year was very accurate. Once you get it dialed in, they're very, very, very accurate. So then you can just dump the seed in and just keep going. It doesn't matter because the, the rate is correct then. So I think this thing has done very, very well so far. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how germination goes and how planting the rest of the property goes. So this is the field, that first field that I planted. And uh, you can see there are strips in it where I left, last year I left a lot of debris on it up in here. In the middle section, there's kind of a green area there. That part I mowed way last year and I drilled some other uh, stuff in that last fall. And then just on the other half of that is also a bunch of debris. So how has it gone through the debris? Well, I don't know for sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll just have to wait and see in time. The, um, some of the debris was um, the thick, Sorghum, really big thick sorghum, and that stuff is almost like corn stalks. It's really, really tough. It's really, really thick. You can kind of see it right here. Like this, this stuff, it has a hard time cutting that, but I'm okay with that because I'm not cash cropping. If it, if it drops seed around there, I'm good enough with that. Now, if I come right over here where I had mowed last year and then drilled in some rye last year, this is much better. You can see it has sliced the ground right here really well. I mean, all through here, it's sliced really good, and there's seed down in there that looks really, really good. So um, that definitely is going to work really well. So what I'm thinking right now, and I'm just getting going on this, but I'm thinking I'm not going to be planting the real heavy, thick sorghum anymore um, to build soil because there's a different strategy. I'll go over that later. I always thought that it was organic matter, like having a lot of stuff on the top and a lot of big roots down underneath. That's not how you build soil. You build soil with carbon. I'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> not now. But uh, yeah, so things are looking good. Um, it's mid-March right now. We'll keep uh, updating how things are progressing. Uh, we'll see what germination rates look like. Everything right now, though, looks pretty good.